Okay, guys. Um, the uh, CDI, new CDI is installed um, on the big connector here. It goes clip to clip. Uh, they don't actually clip into each other, uh, but that is how it goes, at least on my bike. Um, the orange wire goes to the pink wire on the bike. The white wire goes to the yellow wire, which is the left coil. I'm sorry, the pink wire is the right coil, right relative to when you're riding the bike. The green wire goes to the black and white wire, which is the ignition cutoff switch. And then the red wire here has a clip uh, to a red, or another red wire that goes. They've got a splicer here. On most bikes, this will be a black wire coming from the ignition. It's the ignition on off from the uh, key. Uh, but my, my wire has been changed at some point to a red wire. Um, so anyway, here is the moment of truth. The engine is uh, not cold, but it's also not up to temperature yet. If the ignition uh, kill switch works. Yep. So that's pretty much it. I would highly recommend uh, when you guys get your uh, CDI in the mail, uh, use the CD that comes with it. Um, there is a wiring diagram for the CX500 that they put in there as a Word document, and it has you know, you know, uh, orange wire on the ignition tech goes to the pink wire on the bike, and etc. So uh, definitely check that out. And uh, that's it. Uh, as soon as I go take it for a ride, I will let you know. Uh, one other thing, this uh, serial port here is so you can communicate to the CDI. You can change the rev limit. I think you can change the ignition curves and stuff too. Uh, I, I'm assuming it's been loaded with the CX500's you know, normal curve. Uh, I don't really know. But I'm going to give it a whirl here in a little bit, and I will come back and let you know. See you guys.